Hi, Brett and Heather. Thanks for answering my ayahuasca question last week. You mentioned that humans aren't the only species that expresses gender. What other species also do it and how, please? Uh, so I thought this just warranted a, uh, a, a quick mention that um, the way that I have been defining gender and the way that it fits for me uh, with all of the manifestations that I've seen um, people use it is that it is effectively the behavioral expression of sex and that in every animal that's non-human and all the non-human animals um, that what we call that is sex role. And so there are um, there are sex roles that species from uh, you know anemone fish to seahorses to antelope to elephant seals uh, to dolphins and umbrella birds um, you know have and they are sex specific. Uh, so um, we don't call it gender in other species, uh, but it is it is if it if if gender is the behavioral expression of sex, uh, then. Uh, then you're going to have um, you're going to have that happen anytime you've got um, behavior, which is certainly all mammals and birds, and uh, uh, probably all vertebrates and a tremendous number of inverts as well, tremendous number of insects. So I would um, I have been defining gender differently. I've said it is the software of sex, in which case mm -hmm. gender will be found in um, birds and mammals to a substantial degree, um, but, a, but differing degrees within those clades and not much found outside of them. So I guess there's a question about which definition of gender we're going with now. I think that's, I mean, that's, that's interesting because those, um, I like both of those definitions, um, behavioral expression of sex, which is the one that I've been saying for years and have, you know, written into pieces that I've written and you're saying the software of sex and they are overlapping, but not completely. Mm -hmm. And, um, and so they do, they do have different ramifications for how you view, say, uh, the stereotyped lordosis behavior of a female lizard. Um, uh, you know, is that, is that gender or not? It would be by my definition, but not by yours. Um, but it, but the overlap I think is, um, pretty much perfect when it comes to humans. Like we, oh, we have, right. we have they no, converge. no variance at so all there. So just so people know why we're... The difference is immense between these two definitions because yeah. most um, critters will not have gender because most critters don't meet their parents and therefore whatever um, sex role they have will be programmed in at a genetic level. If behavior is stereotyped, um, then it doesn't count um, as gender by your definition. Right. And so yeah. the point about it being, you know, if you accept that it is the software of sex, then the point is software is vastly more flexible than hardware, you know, in a lizard that doesn't meet its parents and exhibits the stereotyped behaviors, um, you know, there isn't a lot of flexibility because in order for the creature to be functional, that stuff had to be written in. And the fact that it is written in is amazing in so many creatures, but, um, but the vast majority will have nothing that we would call um, software. It's much more like, you know, maybe firmware. It's programmed by the genes and um, all but unalterable.